Welcome to the Millennial Logistics Channel, Special Millennial Logistics. Here we share forest education, weekly forest market analysis, and work. We share with you our forest trade idea and plan for the week. As always, price action trading, supply and demand trading, and of course, our free statistics approach to the market. If you love the idea, kindly subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, leave a comment, and turn on the notification bell to see regular forest education and analysis content for more. Let's dive into the chart. Um, so we're looking at the Evo odd. The Evo is just a thousand dollar guy, and we're on the weekly chart. So uh, we're just gonna do this. Looking at the chart, very simple, right? The Evo odd has been from 2020, right? From 6 October 2020, the Evo odd was in the downtrend, right? Yeah? So the price actually came to this point here, and when it came to this point, right, the risk moved to the upside, right? So what we saw here was a drop, a day, and then a rally, right? So um, the price on reaching to this point out, it then reacted, right, since this area right here, this area, right, from this um, rally to the upside, right, forming this juice, kind of, this area became a supply zone, right, so we can actually highlight that to be a supply zone, right, okay, so we have here to be a supply zone, right, okay, so as you can see here, pretty well, when the price the price actually came down, right? You know, got up to this point. So what you can see, what um supply zones are well, uh, really connected by, right? You have this zone here, and the price actually shifts away from the zone. And the next time it approaches the zone, right? There's there's every tendency that the price will make it drop. So when the price drops, it actually drops straight into this demand zone right here. So a demand zone was actually formed here, which we had used in our previous uh, analysis, right? On our previous analysis, like price is about to actually um make some profit off the evil odd. So um finally the price up here too we actually took a throw up here right and the price got into this um supply zone once again and then maybe to the downside. So I remember in one of our previous analysis we want to enter it right here. Right. So um technically to make it very simple evil oil here has kind of formed a double top pattern right from this point right here. Okay now going to where we are today guys the price actually came down to this point here, so I'm going to use this um, straight line, I'm going to use one of these two here. Now the horizontal line to actually map out this level, right? So you see a previous um, price action pattern here. So forgive me guys, I'm already on this trade right now, I entered this trade this morning. So I just want to rush it out so um, we all actually take advantage of the remaining move, right? Okay. So um, what we're looking at is very simple. So the price is actually made a very huge drop, you can see this little drop here. So there's every tendency that the price will actually make a correcting move, right? So maybe coming to test this level, right? Or maybe coming to test this particular level right here, but we're on the weekly chart, we still guide onto the daily chart, see what we have here, but structurally guys, I've been noticing this point. So right here we can see a kind of move here, a kind of bullish look, right? A kind of bullish look here. Right? And um to actually back test this chart, to actually go back to find the region that may be tested again, right? I actually noticed on this chart though that there is in fact a zone to actually watch, right? Where is zone to actually watch? Somewhere around here. Somewhere around here. This move here. Somewhere around here. You know, there is a kind of valley. Um, there is a kind of view from the. So I'm gonna extend this. Where we are to there, too long, too far. So we have this zone kind of here, actually around this area. Okay. Yeah, it goes just with here. Okay, just some reaction up to this point. Right, it doesn't have to be too perfect, guys. Remember, just some reaction up to this point. So this is actually a zone we want to watch. So, um, permit me to actually make this zone to connect the zone here, right. So we have the zone that we're actually watching here. And remember guys, um, to do is our reference and on the weekly chart. So we're going to look at the daily chart to actually see some price action to confirm this. But like I said, I'm already on this trade, so I'm kind of watching it for maybe tomorrow morning. Um, this is um 18.45 West African time. So by tomorrow we all can take advantage of the remaining move, right? So this move today. So right here, I'm looking at the price to actually come to this level. Right, to actually come to this level, so right, to actually come, right, to actually come, right, to actually come to this level. So let's see what we have on the daily time center. 
Okay, now on the daily time frame, we can see some very interesting price action here, guys. Okay, now looking at the chart right here on this day, right? This was on the seventh, right? There was this pin bar, right? There was this pin bar, the what we call it like a bullish hammer, right? That's the price action candle pattern that actually to signal a reversal, right? And um, there was also this bullish day, right? That was also this bullish day to show that the bulls are actually having interest in this market, which is zero to the upside. Right, so I'm actually so um down here there was this kind of move on the tent, right? There was this kind of move that could have signaled this market to actually come down, okay? But then the market didn't, and there was you know the bulls were still pushing up up to this point, right? So um this week on being Monday, I actually entered this week at this level right here. I entered the market at this level this morning right here. Enter the market here. And I'm going to use this highlight, this perfect person here. And I'm going to use an amber. I think you can do that. Okay, so I entered this trade here. I entered the trade here, guys. And I want to use the plane. Okay. Okay, so and I want to, I will put my stop loss on the daily time frame. I put my stop loss on the here, right? my stop loss here and then i'll see plenty one more time but i'm just going to change the color right to make it i'm going to use the red here so guys this is where i'm taking my trade when i'm putting my risk here this trade will last for some time but this is where i actually want to place my risk here so somewhere around this area i should be getting out so what do we see here guys um from this day, you know, I wasn't much skeptical, I wasn't guessing where I was taking the risk. So when I saw this market here, at this point here, there wasn't much deep here. So I went on my one hour time frame and actually did the entry. So if you actually go on your lower time frame or whatever time frame you prefer, you could actually be looking for two back, you know, collective two back and all to actually enter it to the upside to risk it. So this is my trade plan actually for this is coming too soon. But there are other pairs, guys. I'm watching. I'm watching the audio view, right? For us to do well, <laughs> audio view. So I'll be sharing the audio view analysis anytime soon, maybe um tomorrow when I enter it. Although I may enter before and then I share the analysis with you guys um during the weekend, right? For us to actually pick the rest of the move. Maybe 200 pieces, maybe 150 on audio view. But there are other pairs I'm looking forward to share my analysis on, guys, with you guys, right? So for this, guys, um. Usually, you know, I don't share analysis um during the week, you know, logically, but um, one of those things, guys. So, um, let's go take the risk. If you're seeing this, guys, you're most likely, if you're seeing this, guys, you plan your trade accordingly, and maybe you want to join us to take the risk, it's very fine. So, um, guys, if you're enjoying the content, guys, and you like to see more of our content, do not hesitate to subscribe to the channel, guys. We actually love that, and leave your thoughts in the comment section. You can actually, um, comment guys and do not forget to actually follow us on our social media channels right so you can actually learn from you, some other things guys and take advantage of all the things we offer from um uh forex trading education right and then you can also follow us on Twitter view you know on Twitter view Instagram Facebook page and join our Facebook group millennial logistics everywhere. Alright guys so um let's go take some risks let's go make some money precious millennial logistics cheers